Yo guys, welcome back to another Asphalt A video this is Carson and today I will be showing you guys 15 things you may not know about Asphalt A. So with no more delay, let's get into it. Number one, at the moment of making this video, Asphalt A has a total amount of 334 cars. 271 cars can be upgraded through Max Pro upgrades, there are 14 bikes that can be upgraded through Max Only upgrades, and there are 39 cars that can be upgraded through Pro Only upgrades. Also, there are 10 uh, Ultimate cars, which means they can be upgraded because they already have their maximum performance. Number 6, Asphalt Aid is one of the few games where the community can get in-game benefits from being subscribed to one of their creators in YouTube, Instagram, or other social medias. For example, you can get the booster you are seeing right now just clicking on the link on the description just for being my subscriber. 7. Asphalt has a total amount of 66 tracks placed on almost 20 locations, from Alps to Nevada, pacing through Patagonia and many others. But this is also without even counting the sprint locations that will be over 100 because that will be racing on a specific section of a specific track. Because of their licenses terms, there are some cars that have exclusive plates instead of the common Asphalt 8 plates most of the cars have. For example, the Rinspet Sassen, but also the Ital de Sing Da Vinci or the Vision 1789. But also there are cars even with no plate as the Mercedes Benz EQS and also the Formula 1 cars the Mercedes EQS case is a bit weirder because, well, I have never seen a Formula 1 car with plate, but still it's curious that none of them have uh, a plate, actually. The game of the studio that actually was in charge of developing Asphalt 8 was placed in Barcelona, but in 2018, as Asphalt 9 came out, uh, Game of Kharkiv took over, and from now on, uh, Game of Kharkiv is in charge of developing Asphalt 8. As an anecdote, last year Game of Kharkiv accidentally put a picture of Kharkiv Riverside instead of the right image on a Festival Kids cap, as you can see right now on the screen, but was fixed shortly after. Right before the Lunar New Year update of 2021, we all were expecting the Lamborghini Asterion Special Edition to appear inside of the game, but at the end the Bailey BXR Special Edition appeared, I guess because Lamborghini didn't approve the huge modifications that were applied to the Lamborghini Asterion Special Edition, and also we have the De Tommaso P72, a car that never appeared inside of the game, despite we can appreciate the De Tommaso uh, brand icon inside of the brand icons filter inside of the game. Asphalt 8 hosted two esports competitions. The first one back in 2018 was the Orange Asphalt Esports Cup, and then on 2019 we had the chance to appreciate the best players competing for a huge prize on the Asphalt Tournament of 2019. You may already realize that some cars look on a different way on Gauntlet, like for example the Aventador SP looks yellow while the MP431 looks red, and this is because Gamelot reused some of the models that we used to face as on the finals of all events like the championships or the Enduro Double Downs as a shadow of Gauntlet. That way you see them this way, and for example new West cards like the Koenigsegg are on a clear blue shadow. The French conglomerate Vivendi actually owns most of the shares from Gameloft, but also Vivendi owns a huge chunk of Universal Studios, the creators of The Speakable Me 3. That led to, to some weird collaborations, like for example when a few years ago we saw an event where we had the chance to ride the Despicable Me 3 car inside of Asphalt 8 and as an exclusive event, as you, are, as you can see right now on the screen. But that, that's not all. The close ties of Vivendi with Hasbro lead to some of the weirdest collaborations I have ever seen on Asphalt 8, like for example the introduction of three Hot Wheels cars as a championship cars a few years ago, and well, that was also a, a quite curious uh, collaboration that uh, Vivendi made possible thanks to its close tie with other brands. And at last, but not least, we have to realize of the fact that Asphalt 8 has been releasing cars through festival for the last 
three years. On the last three years, we got nothing but only festivals as the only way to obtain new cars. And this is extremely boring, but Gameloft already said that they will bring new ways of obtaining the new cars these years. So I really hope they bring something new, something fresh to, uh, to save these last three years, which have been extremely boring. So that was all guys. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe, drop your like and claim your subscribe rewards. And I will see you really soon. Goodbye guys. Act like we never got to waste it in the bathroom of your parents' house. Then you kissed me in the backseat of a taxi ride. And we said things that were cheesy, but we meant them. There were feelings, and now you deny it. You're in love with the idea of me, but you're not in my reality. Find it hard to leave my picture in. Cause my reality. Your reality, no